Hey there, it's Amelia, and in this video, I'm going to explain the KDP dashboard. KDP stands for Kindle Direct Publishing, and it's a free tool. KDP is a part of Amazon, and it's used for self-publishing. So let's get started. If you have an Amazon account, it makes it a bit easier to log in to KDP because you can sign into KDP using your Amazon account. If you don't have an Amazon account, you might want to swing over to amazon.com and look on the right where it says hello sign in and if you're new to Amazon you want to click start here and that will take you to the create account screen where you're going to just put in your name or the name you want to use on Amazon your email password and re-enter your password once you create your Amazon account you want to return back to kdp.amazon.com to log in to KDP. The reason why I would recommend creating an Amazon account in conjunction with the KDP account is because once you self-publish your book, you're going to want to see how your book looks, to preview your book title, your book description, check your ranking, and you're going to want to be able to do other things on amazon.com such as research book categories, and research some other important information as well as order your books directly from Amazon. Now I'm also going to explain how to order books on the back end from KDP but again having an Amazon account in general just makes life easier. Once you have an Amazon account and you've gone to the KDP URL you're going to want to click sign in and that will take you to the KDP login screen. Now if you're already logged in to Amazon on another window, it's probably going to take you right into KDP. I usually keep a tab open and I'm logged into Amazon so I can jump right into KDP. The first time you log into KDP, it is going to prompt you to put in your password. And if it's not there already, you're going to enter in your email associated with your Amazon account, your password, and click sign in. I like to click keep me signed in so that I don't have to re-enter my password. When you're ready, click sign in. This is the KDP dashboard. In this video, I'm going to quickly give you an overview of all the different aspects of KDP. And in other videos, I'll dive down a little deeper into each of the topics. So for starters, across the top, you can access your account settings confirm or change your language, access help, or sign out. Beneath there, you can access your bookshelf, which I'll review in a moment, access reports, access the KDP community, or access marketing tools. Occasionally, if there's new features as part of KDP, you may see some information at the top, including this new feature called Kindle Vela, which is a new storytelling option through KDP. You're looking now at the bookshelf and to make sure you are on the bookshelf where you're going to see all your different books, you can click a bookshelf on the top and I'll scroll down a bit and explain that up in here is where you proceed to create a new title, which will be covered in other videos. This area here is to create and manage a series then below there will be listed all the different books that you've self-published through KDP, including a thumbnail of the cover, the description, and some other information on the right, including if it's paperback. Now there is a hardcover beta going on right now. It's invitation only. So I'll touch base a little bit about that, but then there's new information coming from KDP about that new format. In addition to listing the formats, you can see the status, for instance, live, if there's a pre-order or a draft, etc. You can also see the price that you've currently set for your book and other options. And we'll cover this when we cover the uploading process of KDP. Scrolling down, you could see other additional books on your bookshelf. And if you have a number of books, you'll be able to go to other pages and they are listed in order of 
the recently edited books. So for instance, this is my most recent book. I'm experimenting with a line of journals and I have set up a paperback and hardcover version. Okay, and the next topic is reports and I do have a separate video with further details on all the different types of reports, but I am going to provide an overview. If we scroll down, you'll see that the first type of report is your sales dashboard. And when you're just starting out, you'll definitely want to take a look at your dashboard on a daily basis or periodically to view your sales. Now, these blue graphs represent free ebooks as I ran a free ebook promotion and if I want to filter those out I can click this checkbox so that I can just see my uh, normal sales and as you can see here it defaults to all marketplaces all formats all titles and the last 30 days now if I click on this drop down you can see week to date last two weeks month to date last 30 days and last 90 days for example and scrolling down, we could see this Kindle edition normalized page that uh, shows pages read for uh, customers that have Kindle Unlimited and on some other tools which allow for lending of your ebook. And there's some other information down below about royalties earned. The next type of report is historical and that defaults to life to date and you can also get a bird's eye view of like say like the last year month to date is very handy you could see the current month or the previous month units sold etc view payment information information on pre-orders if you ran any promotions as i mentioned free ebook promotion or countdown deals you can view prior month's royalties and view any ad campaigns that you ran. Next, let's take a look at community. The Kindle Direct Publishing Community is a, like a forum where you can learn from both new and accomplished authors and publishers who have posted information about various topics, questions. You can also interact and post answers to questions and share what you know as well to help other authors. Finally, there's a marketing tab here. And as I mentioned, I'll have a separate video on each of these. But in brief, I'll mention that this is where you can enroll and set up KDP select promos, including free ebook promos and something called countdown deals. You can also set up Amazon ads, access Author Central to set up your author page, and set up a lot of other features that will help you with your author page and marketing. Down here, there's a new feature called A Plus Content where you can add images, text, and tables, etc., to further improve your product description page and make that look more attractive to customers. As I mentioned, the Run a Price promotion is part of the KDP select option, which you'll learn more about. And finally, nominate your books where you can nominate an ebook that you've self published and KDP will consider it for a Kindle deal or a prime reading promotion. After 90 days, you'll get an email asking if you'd still like to keep it nominated and further information if you want to change a book for a different nomination. So that's it for this video, which explained the KDP dashboard. I'll see you in the next video. If you like this video, please click like, and remember to click subscribe and check out my other videos as well. Bye now.